Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the Scratch Grapefruit Gin and Tonic. <sighs> this is your From Scratch Grapefruit Gin and Tonic. Yeah, that's right. That utilizes our homemade grapefruit tonic syrup. Mm-hmm. And which, of course, we have a video to show you how to make it. Yeah, and it's just packed with flavor. Yes. I mean, all sorts of little layers of grapefruit flavor, and then the bitterness, of course, mm-hmm. from the quinine and the gentin. And it makes your gin and tonic... Just a flavor bomb. That's right. right. Yeah. Normally we would just have the gin in the tonic water, but then adding this tonic syrup to it just gives it so much depth. Yeah. Very enjoyable. And although it takes a little bit to order all the ingredients to make the tonic syrup, it, it's well worth it. Yeah. It will make your ordinary gin and tonic taste like water. Right. You'll just like, ah, away with that, <laughs> bartender. <laughs> exactly. But it's simple. Mm-hmm. You need gin. We're using the Bombay Sapphire here today. Right. Your grapefruit tonic syrup and some chilled club soda. Right. Yeah, simple. Mm -hmm. All right. The gin and the tonic syrup go into our mixing glass. We're going to use two ounces of gin. There we go. And one ounce of the tonic syrup. Thank you. We never thought we would be making things like syrups and stuff like this when we begin this adventure field, didn't mm-hmm. we? But it's a little bit of pain to make it, but it is so rewarding. It right? is. And often it's a key component to making really great cocktails. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Still going to chill that with some ice. I'm going to open up our club soda here. We're going to add one large ice cube to our glass. And we're a little contrarian. We put the, like to put the club soda in first. That way when Phil adds, uh, hang on, adds the syrup, it sort of mixes itself. Mm-hmm. Otherwise you can just swirl it in the glass. So three ounces of club soda. And then Phil will pour in the cocktail. And it's nice like this, and oftentimes that's how we'll drink it. But if you add just a little squeeze of fresh grapefruit juice on the top, it just adds another layer of that grapefruitiness Mm -hmm. to it. And we'll leave that ungarnished. And here you have your delicious, delightful, scratch grapefruit gin and tonic. Enjoy. Cheers.